relationship that you are in, it seems like everything is falling apart. I know that it seems like your finances are falling apart. The doctor's report, everything seems to be falling apart. But you got to trust that if God led me here, that he is going to bring me out of this place. Yes. And so the children of Israel, they told Moses, they said, listen, you brought us out here and you must have brought us out here to die because we're thirsty, we're hungry, and God provided a way in the wilderness a couple of days ago. But I'm wondering if he's going to do it today. But you got to understand that if he brought you out two weeks ago. Come on. Come on. That God is not slack concerning his promises and he's going to bring you out. Look at somebody say, he's going to bring me out again today. He's going to bring me out every time because all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose. Look at somebody say, I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Awesome. And so the children of Israel, Minister Stephanie said, you must have brought us out here to die. They did all this murmuring and complaining. Even as Pharaoh was behind them and the Red Sea was in front of them, they was murmuring and complaining. Oh, Moses, oh, what are we going to do? What we gonna, Moses, what are we going to do? What we gonna, don't worry about what we're going to do. Let me hear from God. Right. So I figure out what we're going to do. What we're going to do, Mo Moses? What we're going to do, Moses? Here they come, Moses. They come, they come behind us. Moses, what you going to do? Lord, Moses, what you going to do? So God gave Moses a solution. And God said, look, I need you to take that rod and I need you to put it in the ground. And when you do, this is what's going to happen. Now, some of us would have looked at God like he was 10 karat crazy. But the thing that's different between Moses and us is that Moses was really submitted unto God to a point to where he trusted God. Noah didn't look at God and say, why are you having me build this ark? Noah looked at God and said, God, what is it that you want me to do. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing it, yeah. but God, I know it's breaking my will, but Come God, on. what is it that you want me to do? Yes. And there are some things, Sister Jane, that God's going to ask you to do right now that don't make no sense, but it's going to make sense later. Right. Oh, right. Jesus. Awesome. There's some things that God's going to say to you that don't make no sense right now, but that a couple of weeks down the road, it's going to make sense to you. And so, we're looking at verse number four. And it says, And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. So you're looking at a people. Now, one thing you got to realize as a leader, leaders, raise your hand, all the leaders. Raise your hand. One thing you got to realize as a leader is, is that everything you say ain't always going to be kosher to the people. Right. Right. That's why God made you the leader. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Because when God needed to talk to Moses, what did he do? He pulled him away and he isolated him and he spoke to him and then Moses came down from Mount Sinai and gave instruction to the people, right? Right, right. You can't be swayed by people with stones in their hand. Come on. You got to just say, you got to look them in the face and you got to say, baby, you hate me right now, but you're going to love me later. Right. Mm -hmm. I call people on the phone all the time. Get up. Time to go. You just won't let me quit. No, I won't. Get up. Until you file a restraining order against me, I ain't gonna quit calling. Get up! And they be mad at me, crying, upset, come to the church with an attitude. You don't like me right now, but you're gonna love me later. It's like when your mama gave you castor oil. Come on. Huh? She said it's gonna be bad going down but it's going to help you later. And you got to understand that there are some things when you are called to submission. That you are Thank you once again for tuning in to a powerful message from Bishop Lamar Weaver. For more information on Conquering Faith Tabernacle, check us out on Facebook at Conquering Faith Tabernacle.